Hello and welcome to another episode of the Track Sports Show where we track every athletic team and player here on campus. I'm Marlon Mejia, joined alongside Cody Coleman, Cassie Swihart. Guys, thanks so much for taking some time to be here today. No problem, Mar. <laughs> so we have a very special episode today. We're going to be joined with guest star Kelsey Darty. She's a star on the Bison women's team, and uh, we just, we're going to love to have her. We're going to have a little interview with her, but not before we get into a little discussion about the Bison men and women's basketball team. So we're going to dive straight into it right now. Cody, tell me a little bit about your thoughts on the Bison men's team. So the men's team, obviously, still playing. They won their game last night against Penn State Altoona. Um, they're seven, they were 17 and 12 on the year, and the one thing I've seen this season, it was a season of streaks. Um, they started out 0 and 5, not great. Then they won three straight. Then they lost four straight, and then they went on their biggest streak of the season was a seven-game win streak. So uh, that was the first half of the season. Second half, they turned it on, and they just they they won more games than they lost, and mm -hmm. that's why they were in the playoffs. That's why they went to the Pac championship. Absolutely. Well, finishing the conference season with a record of 14-4, and four, tell me, Cassie, a little bit about the star players for this Bison team. Well, Khalid Jones, as we know, has been a workhorse for the Bison his entire career here. You know, the last two years he's got an honorable mention, and then this year he made first team all-pack, so that's, you know, just amazing. We also had senior Liam Davis make second team all-pack, and sophomore Chase Truex get um, all-pack honorable mention. So having three players that get all-pack honors is just wonderful. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it shows the growth and progression of the team. Yeah. From the beginning, they continued playing hard. They continued doing their thing. So let's transition a little bit. They're still playing the ECAC tournament, so we're going to see how they go. But talk to me, Cody, a little bit about the, women, the women's side. Uh, the women's team, uh, they were 12-15 and 15 overall, 8-9 and nine in conference, but they still made conference playoffs. Uh, they went to the second round, which was amazing. It was the first time they won a playoff game in six years. Uh, just overall this season, it's just – a little bit of what's more to come. There's more progression to be made, and this team's going to be amazing in the next two, three years. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Do you have any thoughts to add to that, Cassie? Um, I'm extremely excited. You know, the leadership roles with Kelsey Darty and Kelsey Settle this year is just setting the tone for what it's going to be like for the next couple years. And, you know, they have a large freshman class that were getting significant playing time this year. And, you know, with Kelsey Darty got um, all packed second team, so, I mean, that's great. So it, it'll be an interesting uh, thing to see the next couple years. It will be. See no, it truly will be. <laughs> <laughs> no, it will be. And speaking of the star herself, we're going to set it to a break right now before we come back to you guys with our interview with Kelsey Darty. So take a look. What's up, guys? This is BBN Bethany College Online Radio. WVBC. Listen live 24-7 by logging on to client.stretchinternet.com slash client slash wvbc.portal Also by dialing audio now at 213-493-0198 Stay up to date with various student shows that offer entertainment, music, sports, and more. Also with new editions of the shows of the month and announcements of games of the week. Thanks for tuning in on BBN Online WVBC Bethany College Radio, and I'm Jalen Hextall, and I'm signing out. Welcome back to Track Sports Show. We have the privilege and the honor of being joined with senior star Kelsey Darty. Kelsey, thank you so much for joining us today on the show. We really appreciate having no you here. No problem. <laughs> so we have a few questions for you, if you don't mind. No, um, to start with, why did you choose to come to Bethany of all places? We're on the top of a mountain. We're in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> why? Um, it was a senior year of high school after a game. Um, the women's basketball coach at the time came up to me and asked me if I would just at least come up and like tour the campus and I came up and I fell in love instantly with just the campus out being in a rural area and the education department and obviously to play basketball. Well talking about the education department what is it that you're specializing in? Um, okay. Elementary education with an emphasis on special education. And what are you hoping to do with that? Um, I'm hoping to get a job hopefully <laughs> and uh, like special education working with children with autism mostly and then hope, hopefully opening up my own summer camp with children with autism. So. Awesome. Mm -hmm. 
So you had an instant impact coming in as a freshman. So if you could share some words with incoming freshmen, what would you say? Um, absolutely. Uh, I didn't really know that I was going to play as much as I did as a freshman and starting, was, which was a huge accomplishment. But um, it's frustrating. It's frustrating to come in from high school, like playing all the time, then come in and like rebuilding yourself back up. But just doing little things right and just keep pushing yourself, like you'll eventually it'll all pay off. So yeah. Uh, absolutely, and it looks like I mean, looks like you've done that <laughs> very well, and you yeah. continue to have that impact on the court and off the court. But talk to me a little bit about who you have the strongest bonds with on the team. Um, Kelsey Settle definitely for sure. She's just a great friend, player, teammate, everything. And like, is that because you've been with her for oh, so long? We've or? been together since freshman year, so we live next to each other. We're roommates now. We just we do everything together. So it's just an instant bond and it just clicks for us on the court too. So you were just talking about your bond with Kelsey Settle. So you, I know you guys have like just this huge leadership role on the team, like you guys just work very well together. So who do you expect next year to take on that leadership role? Next year I think the juniors, so like Sammy Weiss, Taylor Large, and Ashley Duthie, I would expect them, they do it in practice, let alone on and off the court. So I think they would do next year just fine with it. All right, so Kelsey, I want to point the focus now to this past season. You guys started out one and four. It was a struggle, but since then you guys picked it up. What, what was the mindset all season? Definitely a struggle at first. We it was not how we wanted to start off our senior year, let alone our this year because we just thought we had so much more potential. But there's just some little quirks we had to work out and like all the little things. But once we fixed the little things and saw the potential that we could do, and we just did everything right, and just we just saw the potential that we could what we could do and it just worked for us. Yeah, and obviously you guys did that and your team helped you to be third all time oh, scoring here at Bethany College. <laughs> yeah, I kind of thank them enough for all that they do, so yeah. Yeah, so what, what's that like to have an accomplishment like that? Uh, it's actually really great. I never like accomplished anything like that in high school, so let alone at the college level, it, it, it's a huge accomplishment for me because I never thought in a million years that I would have the ability to do what I did here at Bethany, so it's pretty great. Well, sadly it is your senior year. Yeah. It is. And I mean, I have a little tear right here. You, gotta, you know, <laughs> no, but tell me, what will you miss the most about Bethany? Oh, playing basketball, definitely. It's kind of hasn't really hit me yet, but but I keep seeing like all like my other teammates getting like postseason workouts. I was like, where's mine? But <laughs> so like that's certain to hit. But I'll definitely miss that. And then the bonds with everyone. Like you just talk to a person one time, and it's like you guys are like friends. So it's just a small little area. Do you have a favorite memory of yours from these past four years? Getting engaged at practice would definitely be a favorite memory. <laughs> well, getting engaged. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of that, we want to congratulate you on behalf of Track. So take a look over here. This is something beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Were you expecting it at all? No, I was not expecting it at all. And I was kind of like, are you kidding me? Like, I was all sweaty and gross. I was like, out of all times, like, now. Nah. So I was not expecting it at all. <laughs> so, well, yeah. Kelsey, we want to thank you so much for taking some time to be here on air Absolutely. with us. We have so many things to congratulate you for. And uh, we look forward to catching up with you and seeing how you end up doing in yep. the coming years. Thanks so. for having me. <laughs> no, thank you. So, viewers, we want to thank you guys for taking some time to view another episode of Track Sports Show. We're going to continue tracking every athletic team and player here on campus, and we'll get back to you shortly. So, thank you.